Oregon. And he's very realistic about this team. And we mentioned at the top of the show, they're learning who they are and what they can do well. And look at this. Uh, you got the Ducks coming out in their 2-3 zone. And let's see how they match up against it. Terry Andrews launches the first shot. Rebound taken away. Offensive board. And they'll kick it back out. Do it again. Here's Jada Walker. What I love about this Baylor team is they have this mantra, get paint. If I can get in the paint, I then can manipulate the defense and get to three-point shots. And that's going to be the first turnover of the ball game. And last night at practice, Baylor was extensively practicing against this Oregon zone. They want to look for the three. Well, if they're going to go against the zone, they're going to have to find somebody at the nails to, to give the ball to, to reverse it to the weak side. Kennedy Williams also running the point, number 12. They try to go down inside. Filipina Shea, and she's got the first two. You see the perimeter. This is exactly what they want to do. They go down inside. Dre Edwards on the follow. Little Page has a chance for that rebound. One of the things that Baylor wants to do is make life miserable, not only for Grace Van Sloot, who can't get the shot to go down, but Chance Gray. 47% of the field goal attempts by Oregon are from Gray and Van Sluten. Yeah, Baylor is so really patient within this offense to a practice three. Well, she led him in three-pointers made last season, and last season she really found her comfort zone that she can shoot from anywhere. See how they jump the passing lanes right there? That's that Deion Sanders lockdown <laughs> defense on the on the corners. Andrews tries to chase Baylor saying they want to win the pace in this ball game. Oregon telling us at practice yesterday, we can't chase Baylor around from the outside. Jada Walker, no. Asia Blackwell. That means you can do work on the weak side and get in that, you know, uh, everybody to come in and get in the paint. We call it bringing you into your room. Key for her, they said, we got to keep her healthy. A very talented sophomore. Stay inside, no. Rebound taken away by Edwards. Solid rebounder at seven a game. You know, the little shot fake looks like it's nothing. It is huge because it freezes the defense, gets their arms up. Blackwell, who averages almost three assists a ball game with a nice ditch. I'm glad you said that. My former partner, Hubie Brown, loved the jab step and the little pump fake on the shot. That just that means freezes you. Draw that big in, and now you get to that dunker spot. In Asia, that's where she does work. Two, three feet from the basket, she shines. Asia Blackwell, coach, was telling me yesterday, said, we want her to keep two feet in the paint. She's deadly. <laughs> Baylor's hit their last four. They're on an 11-2 run, a 6-0 run. It could go 8-0. Blackwell. Asia Blackwell out of Berkeley, Missouri, started her career at Missouri, played there three years. She was kidding me today. As she was sitting on the side, people were taking half-court shots. I go, get out there. She goes, no, I'm too old. I said, how old are you? She goes, 23. <laughs> I have that problem. No, yeah, I know. See, I think right here, Oregon, they are struggling against this man-to-man -man defense. They need to put the ball inside. One of the things they do well this year is they've shot 45 more foul shots than their opponents. So keep going inside, get the layup or get the foul. It's a territorial zone. Walker with two on the shot clock, just barely nicks the rim, and Jay pulls it away. You know, coaches look like, what do I do when I come out of a timeout? They chart this. And, you know, Oregon came out of the timeout, and right now they've just... It was a two-pointer. Gray averaging 13 points a ball game, Cutting the lead down to five. I like the way they bring Edwards up high post, and people leave the program, and they were the people that handled the ball, so this point guard position is huge. Yeah, but, you know, one thing that I know about Oregon is they're going to keep coming at you. They're going to keep playing hard yeah. no matter what happens. There you go. Van Sluten, the sophomore out of Toledo, Ohio, was a McDonald's All-American in high school. But you look at her, she's gotten so much better out. This time, little Paige Bugs comes up to the foul line. Ah, dragged a little foot. It's an turnover, but there's there's no defensive presence, you know, to try to curtail what Baylor wants to do. Van Sluten, that is pretty. 
Well, that's what they have to do. You know, I, I just think that they need to press up a little bit because Baylor is making Ron straight line shot passes to their shooters. Court. Oregon, nice job splitting the defense. Shot by Gray. No. Here comes Andrew. Sarah Andrews out of Irving MacArthur. Got her. Somebody's got to slow up the ball and somebody's got to run back to the paint and turn. Little page bugs coming off that double double versus SMU. 24 points in a Little page bugs coming off that double double versus SMU. 24 points and 11 rebounds. The long pass up ahead. Reward the bigs and they did. That's an energy and effort play. That is nothing related to skill. You have to master the things that take no talent. It takes no talent to turn and run hard. Shea's going to check back into the lineup after that. You've got to start making backdoor cuts. You cannot stand on the perimeter when you're being denied. Van Sluten, no. You look at Van Sluten and Gray, they're consistent, but everybody else not consistent. Scoring, and it ends up with a layup by Edwards. Baylor's hit their last three shots. Well, right now, Baylor, eight fast break points. They're plus ten points in the paint. And they're doubling up Oregon on the rebound. And they force another break. Great bounce pass for the layup. Nice defensive effort by Bell. Well, it's, that was a great defensive play, but it's concerning the fast break of Baylor right now. Sammy Wagner's checked into the lineup. Don't pick up your dribble. And they pull it away again. That'll be the sixth turnover and the whistle and a foul, and that's going to be on Van Sloot. You've got to keep the ball moving against that defensive pressure. Here is Asia Blackwell. You have to Amen. thump up the game. If you're a team like Oregon, you're bigger, you're not as athletic, you have to thump up the team. When people cut through the lane, you've got to hit them, you've got to move them off their spot, and you have to know how serious they take that paint territory. Do not let people in. Well, here's Bella Fauntleroy, who's checked into the lineup. Incredibly talented. She'll launch it. She'll make it. You know, she's averaging almost 11 points a game, shooting almost 43% from three. And you know, I was, I was kidding Nikki Collin yesterday. I said, you know, she'd be starting for pretty much any team. From the outside, she knows her role and likes it. And some people don't mind coming off the bench because they're such great team players. Thunder yeah. game last night. Oh, what a game that was. 39 threes. These two teams right here are doing a great job. On the dish, inside, unselfish. Count it. Big time score when she played for Belmont. The depth of Baylor is going to have a major factor in this game. And they're going to, you know, the, the portal is going to be better to them. Well, yeah, obviously, he coached Sabrina Unescu from 2016 to her name on. She wants to rename it. Yeah, on. There you go. It'll and be you. I told her you can't do that to me. We'll, we'll slash it. That's going to be a blocking foul. Was on Fauntleroy, by the way, and here is Basham. But an incredible shot blocker. Oh yeah, and if they can get and they'll do it because Kelly will see, you know, exactly what Baylor's doing. Fauntleroy, right side, no. Bell could have gone back door. They throw it away. Felder, the dish on the left. With the ball. If you're going to get it, get lower than the level of the defender and attack the rim. What stands out about Bartley, a three-year starter at Belmont, 50% field goal percentage every year she's played. Rebound pulled away by Felder. Out of Hartford, Connecticut, the Ohio transfer. Big-time shooter at Ohio. Average 20 field goal attempts a game. Not going to get that at Baylor, but she'll take that one. Nikki, Nikki Collin is such an amazing coach. I just mentioned the players in the NBA. Having their big winter fest downtown. They're calling it the Chip and Joanna winter fest. Those of you who know Magnolia know what I'm talking about. Bell. I might have had a difference of opinion. You and Bill Ambeer have never argued with officials. Is that what you're telling well, me? Well, look, I've had different careers. As a player, we yeah. had discussions, and as a coach, 
Yeah. You know what? My first year coaching in WNBA, I was the only coach to not have a technical. And Doug oh, really? Collins called me in the office and said, Nancy, you go up right now to Tom Wilson, the president. Tell him to put in your contract an addendum to put 25 technicals in your contract that they pay for. And I go, why? He goes, you players need to know you have their back. That's my boy, Dougie Fresh, former broadcast partner on the NBA. Bell, shot clock, plenty of time, 15 to shoot. Rambus, they get the tour, and she draws the foul. Look, talking to Coach Graves about Sarah Rambus. Her work ethic is incredible. Well, he also talks about toughness, edge. Last field goal for Oregon, by the way, was at the 6.20 mark. Over four minutes and 20 seconds now, and they turn it over. Tough pull-up shot. Gray can't get it. Well, what the Ducks have done, I was just going to say, they've taken away that fast break. He does an incredible job from throwing halftime football to basketball. In the corner. Van Sluten, no. Baylor in with seven. That has been a difference. Final seven seconds. 4-3. Jay pulls it away at the buzzer. Page Bugs and Sophia Bell, they face their respective teams. So important in the second half for the Ducks. They have to attack the basket and stop turning it over. Sarah Andrews for three off the front of the iron. Just Jay takes it away. That's a nice rebound. Drive it. You drive it to the basket. That was pretty. Well, she does so much for this team. I mean, you can play her, you know, on the perimeter. You can have her guard multiple positions. But you never want to play in a meeting of three. If you're playing in a meeting of three, you have six people in a space. So you want to send people away so you have gaps in space. Williams almost travel with it. But Absolutely. Last year, a member of the Pac-12 All-Freshman Team, honorable mention, Pac-12, won both Freshman of the Week and Player of the Week. First player to do that since Sabrina Ionescu. Running right-hander, no. Ball is loose, rebound, black. Well, she is going to... Oregon has shown flashes this afternoon. Yeah, right here. You you start pushing the basket up the floor, the ball up the floor. One more time. Here comes that little rub screen, and everybody sank into the middle, and now Grace can, uh, Van Sluten can make that wide-open shot. She just slipped that little screen. That's what I was saying. Yeah. If you go to set the screen, you touch the defender's hips so they think you're there, and they stop, and then you create space. Blackwell, who averaged seven and a half points last season, is up their average this year. Nikki Collin likes this team. She said there's no reason we should take a bad shot because we have so much ability offensively. They counted, and she got hit upside of the head. Great way to finish. And she's big. She's strong. She can get to double doubles. That was Oregon's first offensive rebound. That is their second. Shea, who didn't start playing hoops since she was seven, has made great strides the last couple of years. Very high ceiling for her. Hey, Ron, you, if, you're, if you're that big and that strong, you cannot fade on your drop step to the basket. Blackwell, nice ball movement deep in the corner. The three, nothing but air for Jada Walker. Wow. Beautiful touch pass inside the little big bug. Yes, Drake does so many of the little things that might or might not end up in, you know, the score sheet. And the steal. Here comes Blackwell to the hole. Cat it. So how do you get into transition? Defensive rebounds, steals, block shots. That creates transition opportunities as you run into your numbers. Both Little Page Bugs and Blackwell both in with 10 points in the ballgame. Fouls call first underneath. Look at Edwards right there. She just sees where her teammate. She does such a great job of keeping her head up. One more time, you jump the passing lane right there. You got to fake the pass. You know, we talked about, you know, for chance, fake it to make it. 
you know, this Bears team is averaging 92 points a game. Right. They've had two games this year where they got 120 points, 124 points. They are not going to get this today because the defense is playing pretty good. Right. I mean, you uh, look. Oregon. Yeah, and you look at Baylor. They're shooting over 50 percent on the year, but this afternoon they are not even at 40 percent so far. But those numbers don't matter. In fact, Nikki Collins telling me yesterday because you know I know our numbers are incredible, but I don't buy into these video game numbers. She called it because it'll come back down to earth. Little Peg Bugs lost it, kept it alive. Shot clock at four. Andrews launches from way downtown. That was just north of San Antonio. She hit that. Wow, great recognition on the 50-50 balls to get the possession. Sarah Andrews is having a heck of a game. Andrews checks in with nine and four rebounds. Little Paige Bugs with an easy layup. That's going to get a timeout by the Ducks. Baylor's hit four of their last five shots. The lead goes to 15. That is the biggest of the ball. And you just can't give. It, you know, where you get steals matters. If you get a steal here, it's a possession. If you get a steal on this, come back to Oregon or Satu. It's it's great when your alumni come back. Little Page Bugs turn around in and out. Van Sluten, six of Oregon's ten points here in the second half. She only had four points in the first 20 minutes. And get that ball off the sideline. Move it. Nice pull-up jump for that. You know, she, she has to continue to work on getting to the foul line and being a little bit more physical. Now it's up to 14 straight games for the Buck. They did give her credit for one earlier today. Shot clock at five. Andrews plants the feet, lets it fly. No. Chasing down the rebound. Nice job again by Edwards. Little page bugs underneath the reverse. She's on the Katrina McLean watch list for the second time. She's got her 14th point. Well, if you're on the Katrina McLean watch list, that means you've done some work in your career. Tree, as we call her, one of the greatest players ever in the history of women's basketball. Scoring drought over two minutes. Van Sloot now the turnover, also the foul. That is her third personal foul. Walker, the southpaw. Bella does such a great job with their spacing and understanding how to draw the defender for open shots. Walker knew that was going down when it left her hand. The preseason Big 12 Newcomer of the Year. Yeah, Jada Walker is so good out of Richmond, Virginia. Biggest lead of the game at 16. She and Drew Edwards obviously played together at Kentucky. Let's go back to Jada Walker. You can see again with the ball movement. Look at this great job by Sarah Andrews. All you have to do is step in. That's a dare me shot. Look, you're yeah. so far away. If you're one slide to recovery, it's a contested shot. If you're two slides to recovery, it's an open shot. Inside of 55 here in the third. Walker, nice job defensively. Rambus, face up 13. No, Andrews comes out. Little Page Bugs on the left. Blackwell trailing. Count it. Little Page Bugs has 16. Sarah Andrews, to me, is just having an unbelievable game. You know, floor leadership, putting the pieces in the right place, making tremendous decisions. Andrews, six assists in the ball game. Jay inside, rattles it home with the left hand. She's got eight points to go along with her nine rebounds. And she's good. You know, she's had oh, yeah. career double-doubles. And in those double-double games, the Ducks are 11-1. and one, So what she does matters. Final four seconds. They give it to Andrews. She's going to have to launch it. Not going to be able to get it off. Now the Bears of Baylor, they've got it in high gear. 
We head to the final 10 minutes of the contest. Uh, by the way, each team shoots 40%, but the thing is Baylor has taken 20 more field goal attempts than Oregon in this game. And the reason being? It's because there's 13 steals that could lead to potentially nice pass. Oh, my oh. goodness. A little short on, but that could lead to potentially 26 additional points. Van Sluten, though, eight points in that quarter. After only a four-point first half, tries to make it ten in the second half, can't get it. But how many times have they run that play? There's that little slip again, and this time Little Page Bugs is going to be fouled. And that'll be on Rambis. Eight-time freshman of the week last season. Freshman of the year. Got her first double-double in the SMU contest. Gets the second. With what she does offensively, how she gets some buckets off the defense, and then offensive rebounding. So efficient today, 18 points in 22 minutes. Van Sluten, she is carrying this team. We talked about the top of the show, how Van Sluten and Chance Gray, they get the majority of the shots and points. Nice, but you can't just rely on those two. Somebody else has to step up offensively. Yeah, they're running this pistol on the side right here. Great Van Sluten, 14 in the ball game, but it's taking her 12 shots. But did you see the little foot fake, which sends the defense going in one direction? She goes left, she has space, and then you know what she can do, and there's the finish by walking on the other side. You know, both these teams run pro offenses. Right. You know, I mean, what Kelly was just running right there is called a pistol set. When you come, you can either pass it to the wing or use the wing as a screen. It's beautiful. Chance Gray last year had a string of 32 straight free throws made. Cuts the lead down to 16. The players, they want a little more selflessness. How about the double pump? No, Shea pulls down the rebound and the... She's got her double-double. That's 10 and 10 for her. That's the fifth of the season. And as you mentioned earlier, Oregon 11 and 1 all time. Slide to the front of the rim, and that's his money. Ray sizing things up. Ah, Shea. She was able to get Shea had 53 rejections last season. That's her first today. And then it's going to be a jump ball. The box on the floor, the little black thing where you stand for your foul shots. And all you do, you, you trap it until you get defensive help. Again, nice job position. I mean, they're still battling. The Ducks are still battling. They're playing one of the best teams in the nation right here. And all they're doing is just giving it their best. Hanging in the air, little Paige Bugs. She's amazing, amazing. Oh, amazing. And she was just on the cover of Dave Chappelle's, um, Dave Campbell, I said Dave Chappelle. Dave, Dave Chappelle. Campbell's women's basketball. Big show run for Oregon, their best of the day. They've hit their four of their last five shots and they can increase that. The lead is only 12. Grace Van Sluten, no. What a box out right there. Uh, excellent box out by Bella. Fauntleroy, one of the strongest players on this team, believe it or not. Looks like she has a slight frame, but strength and conditioning coaches tell me she's strong. Nice dish. Both coaches are going to take a look at this, Ron. They're going to say, you know, what did we do right? Nikki's going to say, look, we've been averaging, you know, 90 points, uh, you know, 92 points a game. And Kelly has done a great job in this ball game. He said his team's willing to learn. They know the margin of error is slim, but it's a good team. They get along with each other. Point blank. You know she's Uncle Drew. Plowing potato fields from 5 a.m., five days a week. And he said while he was doing it, he was listening to Chicago. I That's love it. That's a great story. That's unbelievable. But you know, his brother, who coaches, also played at Gonzaga with Chet Holcomb. Did there you know go. that? I didn't know that. Did you know? Well, after Oregon had their little run, Baylor's put together a 6-0 run in the last 37 seconds. Coach Collin was not buying in the video game numbers of this squad. On the dip. Jumping out on ball screens, you know, the drop coverage, even a, a triangle, triangle, and where you can attack it. Oh, Nikki's going to go to her bench. Blackwell will go out. And 
this is the biggest lead of the ball game. Also checking in for Baylor, Kyla Abraham, the sophomore out of Carrollton, Virginia. Only her fourth game that she's played. It's exciting to get some of the young players in oh, the yeah. game. You know, experience is experience. You need to be on the floor with living, breathing players. Well, one thing she still wants to do is, again, this time, Krista Gerlin, now head coach of Texas Tech. Really? Yep, a little trivia. That's big trivia. How do I know that? You know, you go back to how tough Van Sluten is, but the Yank did have an effect. She was only one of seven shooting after she tweaked it. The upcoming schedule. Now they're going to get a break because it's going to be finals here in Waco. Then they play Delaware State. They play Miami, Florida. That'll be in San Antonio, followed by Providence, USF. Jose Fernandez's squad is going to be ready on December 21st. And then the 30th, circle that. It will be on Fox. Texas and Baylor. In practice, and Baylor has done that. I haven't really shown it to you. Che has done Yoma's work today. And that's going to do it. So the Baylor Bears will go to 7-0 and on the season. Start of the year, ranked 19th in the country. They're up to 13th. They may go up even further. Tough day for Oregon. They fought hard. But they come up on the short end of the stick.